powerful storm slammed into central Texas overnight. Here's the latest. More than 10 people had to be rescued overnight, but nobody was hurt. At one point, there were more than 14,000 people without electric power. Austin Energy says, though, it's back up and running now. Now, that storm that moved through while you were sleeping or trying to sleep dropped up to five inches of rain in some parts of the hill country, three inches here in Austin. Jim wasn't sleeping. He was up all night <laughs> tracking it and now has some storm totals for us. We do have. Uh, this was a very nice storm for us. So the storm system itself has now moved to the east and away from our central Texas area, at least the rain-making part of the storm system. The actual storm, you can see in the water vapor imagery there behind me, uh, is still out over western parts of the state. Let's talk about some of those uh, rainfall totals. We saw the most out in the Hill Country. Uh, these were some of the typical rain gauge photos that we received today, especially from the Hill Country. Three, four, five inch totals in uh, many locations out to the west. Uh, two to three inch totals were not uncommon at all. Let's take a look at those areas that we saw the uh, highest totals. Uh, those were out in the uh, Hill Country region with some totals as we check that uh, map, I believe. Uh, Five inches there north of Burnett, four inches south of uh, there, around Marble Falls, 4.2 back around uh, the Kingsland area, and on back down into uh, Gillespie County, we saw uh, three and a half to four inch rainfall totals also. And some three inch totals right here in the metro area, too. We're going to talk more about those in just a few minutes. But uh, the rain brought by last night's storms was welcomed by many, especially those uh, out around Lake Travis and Lake Buchanan, the Highland Lakes that have been so drought stricken. They're moving water now, get Lake uh, Travis up a little more. They had to move some of that water through some. Floodgate operations uh, last night in the middle of the Highland Lakes, Lake LBJ, for example, and Lake Marble Falls. Our Omar Lewis has more on that story. The site behind me is a site that many haven't seen in a while, and they say they've gotten out just to take a look at the water. It's pretty neat to see it again. A site many haven't seen in a long time. After last night's storms, the LCRA opened floodgates to both Starkey Dam on Lake Marble Falls as well as Words Dam on Lake LBJ in an attempt to get water down to more drought-stricken lakes like Lake Travis. We're using floodgates to pass that, pass that water on down through Lake Marble Falls and, and on into Travis. And folks in and around Marble Falls came out just to get a glimpse of the water. The LCRA hasn't opened the floodgates since September 2010. I love to see it. That's why I come up here, just to, you know, see how much rain we got. Shoot, we haven't had this rain in probably, what, a year, year and a half. And, and now that the water is here, the LCRA plans to use it wisely, hoping to raise Lake Travis water levels by a couple feet. Hopefully we'll get a couple foot of water into Travis. Don't know what those totals are going to be right now, but as everyone in Central Texas knows, the lakes have been low, and this is really a welcome event. A welcomed event because Lake Travis is still 40 feet below its average levels, and a glimmer of hope to those who want to see more of the rain. Hopefully this is a sign of more rain to come. I mean, it can only help. I welcome it. The more, the merrier. I hope we get, you know, Another 10 inches added onto this. And the LCRE says these floodgates are expected to close later on in the day. For now, we're in Marble Falls, Omar Lewis, KXAN News. And the extra two feet of water out in Lake Travis is really helping Lakeway rise out of the dry spell there. The Lakeway Municipal Utility District has moved from Stage 2 Level 2 to Stage 2 Level 1 restrictions. And that means homeowners there can enjoy twice a week lawn watering. Remember, all watering has to be done between 7 at night and 10 in the morning.